Спасибо. As is always the case, I've got to do the, uh, the parish notices and uh, tell you what. There's no fire alarm planned for today. So if the fire alarm goes off, assume it's real. Basically, don't use the lift, go down the stairs, and we assemble just out of the stairs. Bad Yes, well, bad convert. Um, I think I want to thank you all for coming very, very much. 2020 is a very important year for the Newcomb Society. It is our centenary. And during the year, we want to celebrate that centenary by providing information, events like this, to people. To basically involve the community of people who are interested in this. This is our first of our events. And very, very much thanks to, to Keith and the team at Hawley, who have done an absolutely brilliant job with the exhibition. I want to thank somebody in particular, Tim. Come on. <laughs> Tim is the guy that has put the exhibition together, and Tim is the guy that knows everything about it. So if you've got any questions, please ask Tim. At lunchtime, with your badges, the museum has kindly said that you can all go in there and have a look around. The other person I want to thank today for what they've done is, where's Jim? Jim's hiding somewhere. Jim has brought in a collection, yeah, Jim's at the back. Jim's brought in a collection of early measuring equipment, and there's an exhibition of this at the back. So if you go through to the next room where we'll be having lunch, there is an exhibition of early measuring equipment that you can all have a look at there. I think with those very few words, I'm going to hand over now to Keith. And Oh, um, ask Keith to say a few words for. Um, when David Eaton would put the programme together, he kindly actually gave me 15 minutes. Now, while that's a, a tribute to my ability to talk 15 minutes, I don't intend to talk in 15 minutes because <laughs> David said, Your task this morning is just to introduce and, uh, and in a sense, kick, kick off today on behalf of the Holy Trust. Uh, John referred to that. My role here is I have two roles at Kellam. I'm both vice chair of the Sheffield Industrial Museums Trust, which actually um, is the occupier of this site and operates Kellam Island Museum as well as Aberdeen Industrial Hamlet. Um, my other role is I'm chairman of the Ken Hawley Collection Trust, who are effectively tenants of the Industrial Museums Trust. So I have a slight conflict of interest sometimes in, in the discussions we have. Uh, but, but our relationship is, is symbiotic. Kenan would say occasionally when he was alive it was fraught. Um, but the real reason we're down here, and next year, interesting enough, is our 10th anniversary of the Hawley Collection coming down to Kellam Island. Um, when I first became involved with the Hawley Collection, um, it was still based up at Mapping Street in a, an old electrical store that the university had given to the trust to use. I nearly said given to the trust, it didn't give it in property rights of giving us the building, they gave us the ability to use it. And I arrived to find that one, the building was inaccessible for public uh, purposes, which was slightly in contravention of the grant that the Heritage Lottery Fund had given to us for buying the collection in the first place. Uh, but it was also, there was no security of tenure. Uh, the first vice chancellor we dealt with was very generous, but of course universities move on and we were already on to the third vice chancellor since he'd left. And there never is certainty, unless I've got something called a lease in my hand, of occupancy. But we cooked a scheme together to actually provide a public space down at Kellam, uh, which enabled the university to give us a small dowry to assist in getting the heritage lottery money. And so we moved here, um, and Ken's constant ringing in my ears, it was never big enough. Um, so we got here, Holy One was built, and within six months, Ken was saying it's not big enough for the collection to be stored down here. Luckily, we got another £400,000 um, uh, towards another project from the River Don Mill owners, which built us an extension. And by which time, even before the extension was open, Ken said, We slam good enough room, uh, we want Hawley 3. And in fact, his last words to me, the Tuesday before he died on the Friday, he shouted down the stairs, Don't that forget Hawley 3. Um, and two days later, unfortunately, he had a heart attack and died. Um, but Hawley 3 is still in our minds. And that particular bit of the collection is about bringing the collection to life, because what we want to do is provide more space to actually see people using some of the tools and the processes we, we have in mind. Uh, but please, by all means, go and visit not just the, the rest of Kellam, but also all in, whilst you're here and have a look round. 
um, which is at the far end of the building by the River Don engine. Um, that part of the museum, and Tim is one of my volunteers, is wholly run by volunteers. We have no paid staff apart from the moment a uh, one day a week project officer who's uh, contributing towards a heritage lottery project we're doing to do with name on the knife blade. But all of the Holy Collection is run wholly by volunteers. Um, we are lucky, however, being at Kellam because I don't have to worry about heat and light and all the other things because that's provided by the museum. Uh, so in a sense, the funds we have to raise, and although John quite rightly said we're not charging you to go into the museum, uh, we do have a donations box, so I can get the plug in for that. Uh, we can donations either in Hawley or in, in the Industrial Museums Trust. Um, but please feel free to have a wander around at lunchtime and hopefully a bit, a bit at the end if you have time as well. Um, but it's nice to see the number. I know when uh, the, the conference was uh, talked about, we were talking, will it get 40, 50? Um, it's nice to know we've nearly 70 people interested today. Um, and one of the things I John forgot to say about Tim, Tim, yes, he's the mastermind behind the Brahma exhibition, but Tim's unique ability as a volunteer was to actually engage absolutely everybody else in the trust in what he wanted to do. Even me, as chairman, found myself slavishly sitting at a computer with Tim writing his scripts for him, because uh, Tim's uh, computing ability has got to his Amazon Kindle at the moment, but uh, beyond that, so Tim has this wonderful motivation issue of getting us all involved, and I'm sure the Brahma family equally felt for of Tim in terms of the context uh, there. Uh, but I think what the connection with Wally for us is about, in a sense, developed precision tools. Um, not also at least because Brown was a local personality as well, although I can't say he was Sheffield, he was more in local government terms, Barnsley, um, but nevertheless he had that close association with the area and therefore there is that distinct connection, not just with the Holy Collection, but also with the, in a sense, the main things of what Callum Island is about as well. And the thing that has changed here, if you haven't been to Callum before, or you've been a fair some time ago, is this area is changing tremendously in terms of its significance in the city. It's now becoming the leading residential area for the city centre. People buying into something which I think they want to that industrial feel. The problem is, if we're not careful, the residential will push the rest of the industrial bit out because uh, people who own factories out here suddenly realise the value of the land is worth more selling it for apartments than it is actually staying there. So certainly this side of the river, is predominantly residential. You will see, see bits of the old Sheffield industry on the other side of the river. Uh, but my last thing I want to say is really is just to thank all the people who contributed to the exhibition we had, um, to the Royal Institution for loaning us the Monsley Machine for, in a sense, the support of the Newcomb Society in terms of enabling us to, to put it on. What hopefully we provided is, in a sense, the, the, the brains and the effort in terms of actually making it happen. So I want to thank uh, the Newcomb Society and wish them all the well in their, in, their vice, in their centenary year that's coming up next year. With that in mind, over to John. Thank you.